Hey, this is Jessica with another Classy Deer tutorial. In this five-step tutorial, we're going to be using Photoshop and After Effects to create something really cool called 2.5D. Basically, we're taking a still photo and simulating 3D with it. So let's get started. Step one is to pick your layers and build them. In this particular photo, all of these people standing in front of me I'm going to use them to my advantage and put them each on their own separate layers. So go ahead, use your lasso tool, your magic wand, whatever you want to, and cut out each person. Just make sure you layer via cut. Then when you take them away, you'll see this camera guy, for example, is missing his whole right hand side. Plus some of the background is missing and the performer's legs are missing. So this is where building comes in. You're basically going to use some creativity and build up this person. After that, you're gonna have to build up the other parts of the scene. If you do some pre-planning and know where you wanna move in 3D space with your camera, you can get away with only building up certain areas of the photo. But if you take your time and build up the whole scene, then you have a lot more options. Just keep this in mind when choosing your photo. The more complex it is, the more time you're gonna spend. But the more time you spend, chances are the better it's going to turn out. Okay, step two is to export all of your layers separately with an alpha channel. Don't forget to add that transparency to it. Very important. All right, on to step three is take all of your character files and import them into your motion graphics program. Then put your characters onto the stage and make sure that they're 3D. Otherwise, we're not really doing anything. Then just start arranging them in Z-Space. I also found that if you scale up your background image, it helps when you want to move your camera around in all these different which ways. Fourth step is to create your 3D null object and camera. You're going to position these two elements wherever you want to in relation to one another. Then you're going to start keyframing the different attributes of the null object. Just make sure to set the null object as a parent to the camera. Finally, step five is to look at all of your work and if it's what you want, go ahead and export it. Or if there's parts that you want to change, go ahead and tweak it. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email. Or if you have any tips, <laughs> please post them and share them with everyone. Otherwise, that's 2.5D. Um, hope that helps and thanks for watching. Bye.